We're in the close proximity of Tokyo Tower. Running communication test. Everyone, report. The assault team is ready. The monitor is ready. Um, is this balloon totally reliable? That's an aircraft. The sniper is ready. Executioner ready. Why are there death servitors here? It's probably someone set up by one of them, but I don't know which side. No matter which side they're on, they are all enemies. Ask me why I'm so calm. You have a plan for dealing with them? <laughs> no, anything is possible in a goddamn place like Japan. I'm used to it by now. I do apologize for interrupting your conversation, but I'm in this wet and cold place, bored out of my mind, so please, would you all shut the hell up? Basara, Ukyo, quiet. Unknown vehicle is approaching Tokyo Tower. Get ready, everyone. We will soon reach the ambush location. Take a... Shh. Calm down. Be quiet. I have fallen ill on my journey, but I still dream of riding on the open plains. Even after so many years, we haven't given up the good habit of arriving early, Major Bondarev. Tachibana has entered the elevator. Are you ready to go? Don't worry, there won't be any problems. I've also prepared a small present for you. Gift? My friends, you will shortly be watching it broadcast live from the aircraft. You can see his wave scanner on the table. Take it and search this entire place. Look for any hidden surveillance equipment. Are you still trying to conquer the world? Even after all these years, my dear Dr. Herzog? We are old friends reuniting, so let's use our old voices. It feels more appropriate. Yes, sure. This path turned out to be much longer than I expected. But, you know, I am not concerned about the cost. Bloodshed is beautiful and noble. It is what drives evolution. Only a king with blood on his hands can truly call himself a king. His subjects are his nourishment. Your kingdom sounds exactly like a massive dining table. One at which you are the only one eating. A king is meant to be alone, above all. The king and anything that is ruled by the king are two separate entities. Look, Major Bondarev, strength is certainly a thing of beauty. However, the heroic attempt by the ant is just another joke to the anteater. You and I, we are the ultimate liars and schemers. You know that. How could two devils like us have the gall to ask for salvation? Yes, you are right. After the myriad of sins I have committed, how could I possibly count on God's mercy? Tell me about your bargain. I know Hydra has been surveying the location of the Well of Bones, and you do have the highest chance of finding the God. But to make the perfect evolution pill, you still need my instructions. You believe that as the High Patriarch of the Hydra, my only goal is to get rid of you in order to rule the world alone. And now that God is about to be awakened once more, I'm forced to share my throne with you? There is no reason to keep up the man of justice pretense when you were with me, Major Bondarev. I know all too well who you really are. You have controlled the Hydra. Your student is the High Patriarch of Mafias. And your mute daughter has the power to destroy the world. For decades, you have been looking for the Well of Bones. 
coveting the undersea Takamagahara. Only that naive student of yours could believe that you do what you do for the sake of justice. You are a true master of disguise and are excellent at keeping hidden. I've always appreciated these qualities. I look forward to working with a partner like you. Working with you for what? To bring back to life the god. Only then can we extract the fresh embryo blood. This is the only thing that can evolve a human into a pure blood dragon. But I need all the keys to open this forbidden gate. I know that you possess some of them, and you know that I possess the remaining others. Who gets the evolution bill? Equal distribution, of course. Either evolution pills or the world, we both have an equal share. This way, your daughter can evolve into a pure-blood dragon and extend her life greatly. You think that I would use the perfect evolution pill on my own daughter and turn her into a perfect dragon? The so-called perfect evolution is ultimate evolution, but without the loss of one's sanity. She will still be your daughter even after she inhabits a dragon's body. She is a devoted child. She's even prepared to destroy this world for you. Is this the reason why you have brought her up and look after her to this day? Then both you and Eri will evolve into pure blood dragons? Right. By doing that, you could end up having a daughter with pure dragon blood running through her veins. A daughter capable of devastating half of Tokyo with the greatest of ease. You never had any children, did you? There is no motive. If I ever gave birth to a useless offspring, it would only bring great dishonor and shame. And no interest in women, either. Am I right? I guess you see them purely as nourishment. So how could you possibly form any kind of a relationship with them? Ordinary women do not appeal to me. But your daughter, I can assure you, is no ordinary woman. Out of a hundred thousand humans that are given dragon blood, maybe one can survive. That is why I thought I was the only one. But your daughter has proved me wrong. And you will use your half on yourself. It would seem that the safest way is to use it on myself. It is far too difficult to control Jimei. In reality, behind that girlish appearance hides a dangerous, venomous snake. Aren't you afraid that I might stab you in the back once again? We are competing to rule the world. Therefore, doesn't it make perfect sense to be fully prepared to stab each other in the back? What king would be so foolish as to share his throne with another? Next time, why don't you try stuffing a grenade in my mouth? <laughs> now you know that shooting me in the heart will be completely useless. Well, that sounds fair. I think we should come to an agreement. <laughs>